Okay, let's do this thing. NXT. What do we got for NXT tonight, huh? I guess it's the Fallout show from In Your House last Saturday, which I did review that show. It is uploaded online right now. Didn't really have much to say about it. I thought it was an okay show. Uh, go check that review out. But we do kick off the show with the new North American champion, um, Carmelo Hayes. Him and Trick Williams was out there. Basically, you know, it's a lot of things going on. Trick Williams uh, basically said that Melo is the champion. Lori Harvey is single. <laughs> You know, some you know, it's kind of funny. Me and my friend was actually talking about that between her and Michael B. Jordan the other day. Um, yeah, man, how wow. Uh, you know, we just talked about it now. Uh, yeah, she, I, she's on to the next dude. So, uh, there you go. Um, and that the Golden State Warriors are gonna beat the Boston Celtics, um, you know, in the uh, finals. Which Mel said, Whoa, whoa, I'm 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 from Boston. Uh, it's all my, my, my bad, man. But basically, say, you know, in your house, you know. Melo the champ again, Melo don't miss, but before Melo could even say anything his own self, uh, Saul Sokoa came out there saying, like, you know, uh, I know you get to brag, but I'm next in line for the title, but Trick is not, Trick said, no, 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 you had an uh, agreement with, you know, uh, Grimes, not, not Melo out here, man, you, 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 you the wrong man, so, uh, you bet on the wrong dude, um, Melo said he got his number, next thing you know, Grayson Waller came out saying, you know, I don't care who your family is, I'm the one that should be getting a title shot and everything, um, and when I said you got no friends, right? That's why you're, so, you know, you're solo. But solo said, uh, you know, you shut up, and I'm not alone. I got the people, the crowd back here with me. And he said, y'all want to fight? Let's go. He started basically jumping all three of them out there, but they end up jumping him. Then stepping on him after that, um, basically beating him up as referees that came out to, uh, you know, break it up then and stuff. Um, next, Tony D'Angelo, I guess, uh, was arriving in the car, which now. Legado del Fantasma are now servants for Tony D'Angelo and his family or the family or whatever it is out there. They're going with this. So, yeah, now they're, um, yes, they're doing it for the family, the family uh, or whatever it is. I'm, why, why did I say that three times? Uh, not paying attention there. But, um, yeah, you know, D'Angelo told, uh, t uh, so, told Escobar that you have a, a match tonight, so you need to get ready um, for later on. Von Wagner went against Josh Briggs. Um, not a bad match. Two guy, big guys beating the hell out of each other. Pretty short, but, um, you know, Wagner tried to go for Jensen's injured uh, hand and stuff. Um, Henley tried to strike the referee. Briggs up in a big clothesline from hell, I would like to say, JBL style, uh, for the win. Uh, next thing you know, um, I know they had, um, what, uh, Cor Sophia Cromwell and um, Robbie E out there then, basically uh, with Von Wagner. So um, we'll see what goes on after that. Solo said, you know, we, you know, I want to match against y'all tonight, Melo and Walla. Uh, so I don't, you know, if I need a tag party, if I don't care who helps, I get some help, I get it. But he said, I'm gonna leave both y'all bitches lying like y'all left me lying earlier. All right, um, good promo from Solo. Um, Andre Chase, uh, you know, Chase you. We're awarding Thea Hale since she is now, uh, she has a full scholarship with Chase University um, and everything. So they want to make sure her uh, education is good. Uh, next thing you know, Pretty Deadly came out. Uh, when, when they were in the back doing a segment, but Pretty Deadly tried to talk about them. Chase, um, Andre Chase basically said, yeah, you guys lost the tag titles on Saturday uh, and everything. Which, you know, they left as, um, you know, Chase University ended up taking a big picture then. Uh, Santos Escobar went against Nathan Frazier, which they are really building this Nathan Frazier dude up. Like I said, especially Seth Rollins is, um, protege or trained by Seth Rollins. They keep pushing on. Uh, this match was really good between him and Santos. Um, Tony D'Angelo was on commentary. Basically, you know, telling, like, why are you doing all these moves? You need to, uh, tone it down a little. Which, as the match went on, um, they slid in a crowbar, which uh, Escobar didn't use, and he kind of pushed it back. Frazier ended up getting a kick on Escobar and then hitting the Phoenix Splash for the win. As Tony says, all you got to do is use the crowbar. Why didn't you use the crowbar out there? But yeah, uh, you know, we've seen stuff like this before. You know, one's got to be the servant for a while until, you know, they find a way out of the whole uh, contract or whatever thing. So I guess they're trying to get legato sympathy right now with uh, D'Angelo and them messing with them. So we'll see what goes on from there. Braun Breaker came out talking about his match last Saturday with uh, Joe Gacy saying he was challenged, you know, mentally and physically, but, you know, he said he, he came out winning, and, uh, you know, it's about NXT, but now he wants to know who's going to be the next challenger and whatnot. 
Next, you know, Apollo Crews, uh, which they actually had his NXT graphic, Apollo Crews. Uh, honestly, I have no idea what he's been doing on Raw. Some people even wonder if he was even still employed at this point. Mostly he was chasing the 24-7 with the rest of the Goon Squad, but they decided to send him back to NXT. Uh, fans chanting, you know, welcome back. Um, you know, uh, he misses the energy here and everything. And, you know, you retain the title and break, you retain the title and everything. Fans chanting, we miss you, saying, you know, NXT is special. He had a lot of, you know, when he left NXT, he left too soon, which, you know, he did leave a little bit too soon, if I remember NXT, because he has been NXT since, like, what, 2016? And I always kind of thought he was moved up quickly at the time. And yes, we have seen him go up and down the main roster. Some would say a lot of downs. The last thing that was working for him was the whole, um, you know, like Nigerian uh Prince thing with uh Commander Aziz there and he was Intercontinental Champion, but then kinda right after that they didn't really have much for him and it just kinda fizzled out and disappeared and we didn't really hear much from him then after that and he just kinda been in the twenty four seven thing. So Apollo Cruz going back to NXT, some would say is he next in line for the title and everything? Uh, maybe, but you know, he's gotta really get out of that purgatory of the well, he's out of the purgatory now of the twenty four seven goon squad out there because this man was doing nothing on raw at this point okay but then again it looks, it looks like we seen anybody back to nxt nowadays because i'm like hey you know if ziggler won a title then breaker gonna, not breaker but cruz going no title too but they have sent people from you know natalia to aj styles ziggler uh war raiders and all that stuff um and everything back to nxt so cruz being an nxt alumnus uh maybe this will this has got to work for him i know it's not black and gold but uh, hopefully something is still good for him. Joe Gacy was it with his druids talking about, you know, whatever, basically the dyad that, you know, what he's calling himself now, or they're, they're now the dyad. They're going to debut next week. Uh, Roxy went against Tiffany Stratton in the finals of the NXT Women's Breakout Tournament. Uh, ended up with, uh, Roxy winning, which I'm not surprised. The match was okay. I'll say that. Cora J came out and celebrated with her, um, in this match, after the match, uh, Toxic Attraction came out, Mandy Rose saying, you know, you should be proud of yourself, you know, um, everything, because it's going to go downhill from here. You can go to Raw or SmackDown, just leave the contract at the closet, you know, it's, you know, your uh, title shot you're not going to get. You will feel like your friend Cora J, who's failed twice now and everything, which um, Roxy ended up punching Mandy. Uh, the numbers game happened, but Indy Hartwell came for the save. Could they, she be cashing for on Mandy or for the tag team titles because Indy could be going for the... Uh, title against Mandy, I'm not really sure, but, um, we'll see what happens, but I figured Roxy was gonna win this whole tournament anyway, so I'm not really surprised, so, um, you know, it's like Ring of Honor, she won the title there, she can probably win from, uh, Mandy Rose here, we'll see, uh, Bodie Hayward was on the ground, I guess, uh, pretty deadly attacked him, Andre Chase was pissed off, since his partner was out of the tag match, um, they did some with Wendy Chu to interview, but Stratton kept getting involved, and yelling, and uh, Wendy Chu threw her drink and left in. Um, pretty deadly one against Andre Chase. Uh, Bodie Hayward tried to come out to help. Next thing you know, Thea um, Hill tried to get involved um, and everything, but, you know, I guess get a tag. It didn't happen. Pretty deadly ended up still being, um, you know, Andre Chase in. So uh, they basically took him out from there. Tony D'Angelo told Mel and them, you know, to stay out of our way and everything, uh, you know, and stuff. We're going to be coming for that title. Alba Fire or Kaylee Ray went against Tayton Paxley. Kaylee Ray ended up winning with a big swan time. Pretty far, I should say, too. Um, another solid win for her. Uh, Lash Legend came out and gave a damn near stiff kick out there when you look at it on, um, on, um, on, well, I can't even forget the name. Kaylee Ray right there. So, um, we'll see what happens. The Diamond Mine were in the back. Uh, Roger Strong apologized for everything that's been going on, and, you know, you congratulate them for winning the tag titles, which they all had a group hug. Malik Blade and Andrew Sanofi came in, you know, y'all did a great job and everything and stuff, and we, they, you know, Creed appreciated that, and they took handshakes, they said, you know, uh, good, we guys get the same energy, and you know what, we'll give you a title shot next week, okay? But... Strong says, well, you can't just be handing out title shots. You got to earn this shot, okay? That's all a multi-time champion. And you guys, you guys ain't blowed if you're not careful, okay? Um, Giovanni Vinci vignette um, aired, which ended up being Fabian Eichner, who had a, bra a beard now, I should say. So, you know, they've been making him, like, you know, this very, um, you know, high-rise, like, um, upper echelon, just, you know, with the money uh, Italian and whatnot. Uh, so I guess they changed his name. I don't know. Once again, it's another one of these weird name changes with NXT. Um, 
because the last time we saw him was with Imperium, but he just walked out Imperium, and they end up moving Walter and um, you know, uh, Bartell to the main roster, and we wonder why they went didn't move Eichner, but um, they kept Eichner NXT, and they gave him a new gimmick now, and a new name. So we'll see what happens. Um, main event: Sol Sokoa and Apollo Cruz went against uh Waller and um Carmelo Hayes. Very good tag match. Um. It wasn't that very enjoyable. Uh, ended up with Cruz and them winning. Big Blue Thunder Bomb onto uh, Waller for the win. So, very good main event. I wonder how long uh, Apollo Cruz will be sticking around NXT. I'm not really sure how long, but um, it's better than being on the main roster for him right now. So, we'll see what happens uh, with Apollo Cruz and what title he goes for if he's facing Breaker. But, you know, something he's going to get a guaranteed shot because it's main roster that creative has killed him for a very long time. So, um, we'll see what happens. But other than that, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Hood9890. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.